Louisiana Beer Reviews Snakes and Sparklers Double India Pale Ale locally brewed on Linwood Avenue in Shreveport, Louisiana. This was introduced in 2021. It is 8% alcohol and it is brewed by the Southern the Se the Seventh Tap Brewing Project. Okay. We only sell snakes and sparklers. Okay, and they're showing a desert scene, and Shreveport is certainly not in the desert. Brooding can by the seven tap. Oh, I already said that. Okay, uh, there's a date, guys, but it looks like it's worn off. Something 01 22. Mm, I can't make it out. I hope it's August. First, 2022. I haven't seen this around. Uh, it could be that fresh, but I don't think it is possible for it to be that fresh. Okay. Um, there's no video reviews for this. So this is the first video review for this project in the world. There's 142 check-ins unique check-ins or something like that on untapped 142 147 they're giving it an 80 beer advocate and rapier don't have enough beer advocate has one review and rapier has none you know to give it an average so um i don't know anything about this beer citra mosaic and um sabro hops citra mosaic and sabro hops the malts i don't know pale malts i would assume a part, probably a blend of pale malts what about wheat? I don't know. Some of these DIPAs contain wheat. All right. So, don't know why they call it, why they picked this name. Uh, I guess there's so many beers on the market, you got to think of something unique. It's got a head that's creamy, um, like it might have wheat in it. It's hazy, opaque, uh, not really translucent. It's uh, just orange and thick looking. A little snail in the desert told me that, um, you know, beer is boring. You know, beer this day, these days is boring. It's, it's just too slow for me. <laughs> I said, well, aliens dropped off the snail in the desert. And then he was saying, um, he had a way to speak. And he was saying, you know, we need explosions. We need excitement, man. So let's see if this does that trick. Um... It has that smokiness that you get with some of these diapers. It's and, and the ones that are wheat wheated and it's like a strange smoky white bread crust. I can't explain it. I don't know what it's coming from. The hops. <sighs> but I, 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 I've noticed that I bet you five times now. Let's go with the taste, shall we? What else on the aroma? Yeah, I like white bread, white wheat bread. It's got to have wheat in it. <laughs> I'd put money on it. It even has that like cream of wheat mouthfeel. It's not a wheat beer, but I think it definitely has that. Does, what about flaked oats? Possible. Body. High, medium, if not heavy. A creamy mouthfeel, like I said, a cream of wheat. White bread crust, bitterness, um, yes, moderately bitter, bitter. Get the fruity hops. I would guess it's probably 45 bitterness units. Wonder who distributes this here. Well, anyway, if they wanted us to know the bitterness units, they would put it on the can or on the website, right? Um, it's nice, kind of like 
I mean, the saying on the can, we only sell snakes and sparklers. So it's like if you went to the to a um, fireworks stand out in the desert next to Twin Arrows or something, and you on um, the old Route 66. Let's say you need you say um. What do you have? And they only have snakes and sparklers. You might think it's kind of like ordinary. Like that's not really that exciting. Um, and then they say, well, we got two Roman candles. Those are like moderately exciting, but not, I'm not really into, personally, that's a bad analogy for me because I don't care anything about fireworks. No matter what, it would blow up. If it blew up big, blew up real, you know, blew up good, blew up real good. I wouldn't care. I don't care about it. It doesn't mean anything to me. When I was 11, I cared. Now I don't. I wouldn't spend a dollar on any fireworks. I'm not an anti-firework person per se. I don't like hearing them, really, because they're aggravating. But um, I don't like the fact that people that do all this don't pick up their refuse. I'm more of a beer person. Uh, Um, so is this an exciting product with a metaphorical explosive nature, metaphorically explosive nature? No, it isn't. Now you might say, ah, but, um, beers don't have to be exciting to be high quality and enjoyable and well-made and good. That's true. Overall, it's pleasant. There's a little sting in the mouth. Taste buds from the fruity hops. Finishes semi-dry. Sweetness scale, yes, it's quite sweet. Three and a half out of five sugar cubes, if not higher, but certainly not lower. Bitterness units, Mm. I'm so immune to the bitterness effects these days. And you'll be the same way. You probably are the same way from all this. Um, it's like hot sauce, you know, after a while it just, does, just doesn't, none of it seems hot. But, um, I'll say the same three and a half out of five bitterness units. And it may be lower than that, but not higher. I don't think so. So, not exciting, but very well made. Um, if, if you say you were talking to someone like the owner of this shop, this stand, a fireworks stand about the snakes and sparklers, and they were going on. Oh, these, these snakes, these are the most extraordinary ones you can get. They're just so wonderful. Look how it burns. and Look at the sparkler. It's just so evenly burning. Um, and it's fascinating, and you'd say, boy, you're just going on and on about these sparklers and these snakes. And the, the fireworks owner might say, yeah, but I love fireworks, <laughs> you know. And I love beer. And other products. So, yeah, I go on and on to till the break of dawn about things like Schlitz, you know. But it's like the same remark. I love beer. Um, I love it as a consumer product, not as a religion. As some people uh, do beer reviews, it's like it's their religion, you know. They're like a... They're like obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with fantasy, you know, possessed with their dreams. But... Um, possessed by their dreams but any hang on um i'm at a roadblock i don't know what else to say where do i go who do i turn to i'm gonna give it and i don't really like these kind of ipas tell you the truth i don't like the way they look i don't like the mouthfeel i don't like the flavor the body or the finish but I understand that other people do. And uh, that being said, I think it is a very good product. Um, in that case, I'll give it a 95 out of 100. So for a product that I don't even... In, I guess I enjoy drinking it in a sense. But I don't really... 
ever want to drink it in any sense, truthfully. But it is a well-made product in its of its ilk. So laissez that's the way I see it. Laissez les bon temps roulés. A fast not fascinating, a fantastic product in that uh, realm. And I'm gonna end this review by saying y'all go to Shreveport, Louisiana, where I was just was I was just there recently and but I didn't tour the seven tip brewing project.